you need to enjoy the journey while you're on it because it's going to be a lot longer than you think it's going to be for most of you. For some of you, you may hit the lottery, but if you don't hit the lottery, you need to think of how you can enjoy playing the lottery or you just won't win because you're going to get tired of scratching those tickets. Today's tip of the day for today's tip of the day is a night mimosa. So pretty much it's a mimosa, but I have it at night because that's how much I love mimosas. I know everyone has their own preferences, but me personally, I like to put half Prosecco and then half orange juice. I've tried champagne, it's a little bit too strong. Um, I'm, I'm new to this game. I just, I, ho I just hopped in. Just hopped in Corvette Corvette. Today we're celebrating my birthday. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 20. Wait, let me not get copyrighted right now. I have been live for 22 years and counting. I can't believe it. Time is just going by fast and faster. I don't know about you, but I feel like time is legit going by super fast. Like it was just yesterday I got my lease to my apartment, but it actually was like a year ago. For my birthday, you know I had to get myself the gift because I suppose myself, I do as I do as. For my birthday, I got myself this beautiful floral necklace from Kate Spade. I did not plan on getting it. I honestly was shopping with my family. I was literally telling my family, I'm a recovering shopaholic, I'm not gonna buy anything. I went into Forever 21, I didn't buy anything. I was just walking around, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I've like grown. I guess I'm like, you know, I'm a new me. Like, I just, <laughs> I'm unbothered by these hoes, <laughs> by these stores. And then I went into Kate's Spade, just browse. And I saw that necklace and I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it. It just screamed me. I love florals. Like, like I gravitate towards floral patterns. I have floral purses. I have a lot of floral like outfits and dresses. I honestly, I, I got it on me right now. <laughs> I'm like a flower on me right now. Like, I don't know. It's just flowers just make me feel so alive. I buy myself a bouquet every time I go grocery shopping. Whenever I see one, and. I just love them so much so the fact that there was just like it was just there a beautiful colorful ass floral diamond necklace how could a girl not and then as I was waiting for them to wrap the necklace my ass decided to pick up a book just to, just to pass the time and, it was just past the time. and I ended up buying that too it's called she by Kate Spade which is filled with a bunch of iconic women and iconic quotes they actually put characters like show characters Oh, this book is heavy. It is hurting my boob. I knew I had to buy it when I saw Carrie Bradshaw on one of the pages. And it quoted one of my favorite scenes in Sex and the City. I've been watching that lately. I literally got HBO Max just to watch Sex and the City. And then I realized they got rid of Gossip Girl on Netflix, so I'm just in a spigot of time, right? Ah, but yeah, I love it. I literally was reading this last night and I fell asleep with it because I am she. And you are too. Because it's my birthday and I spoil myself, I'm about to spoil y'all like it's your birthday. I'm going to give you guys three tips while I sip. So my biggest tip that I'm going to break up into three tips is you need to enjoy the journey while you're on it. Because it's going to be a lot longer than you think it's going to be for most of you. For some of you, you may hit the lottery. But if you don't hit the lottery, you need to think of how you can enjoy playing the lottery. Um, or you just won't win because you're going to get tired of scratching those tickets. You know, when you're ordering pizza, while you're waiting for your pizza, you're not just sitting there looking at pictures of pizza, are you? Because if you were to do that when ordering pizza, it would only make you more hungry, it would only make you more miserable. And that's essentially what you're doing when you're waiting for that metaphoric pizza being your YouTube channel to grow. 
for your channel to pop off. You're not gonna enjoy it if you're thinking about how hungry you are. You're not gonna enjoy the process if you keep looking at the subscriber count and if you're not actually making content that lights you on fire. If you don't enjoy what you're talking about on YouTube and you're just doing it because it's a profitable niche, let me tell you, hon, that will lead you right down quitting I Hate My Life lane. And it's not a fun lane to be on. So let's talk about how to enjoy the journey, how to enjoy waiting for that piece to come. I need you to acknowledge, I need you to accept that you will always be the student. I don't care how much of an expert you are. I don't care how much experience you have. I don't care how long you've been on YouTube. I don't care who you know or how good you are. You will always be the student. There is always something that you don't know and you won't know that you don't know it unless you are searching to figure it out or unless you have a coach, of course. But <laughs> You do not know it all. No expert does. I don't care what expert it is that you look up to, they do not know everything. Your psychology professor in college doesn't know everything there is to psychology. They know the material that they teach about psychology, but they don't know everything by heart. No one does. And I have that expectation that you are supposed to or that you've learned all there is to learn and now it's your time to make it rain and money and subscribers should just flow to you. I hate to break it to you, but there's still a lot that you need to learn. Life is a never ending class of lessons. And if you're not willing to accept that you're still, you will forever be a student, you will never learn what needs to be learned to get to your next level on YouTube. For me personally, it took a lot of swallowing of my own pride and ego to admit that, you know, my thumbnails did suck. They were good, but they weren't great. They weren't something that you would click on on a list of other thumbnails. And that affected my channel. That literally kept my channel stagnant. I had to admit to myself that my content could be better. My editing could be better. It was hard because I'm already putting so much work into editing. Like, oh, like what more do you want? But it's the truth. Like, I could learn more edits. I could learn how to make my thumbnails better. And because I am open to being a student and forever being a student and learning what I can do to improve, I will do that. I will improve. And through improving, through being susceptible to learning and to shaping and shifting and evolving, you will inevitably reach the success that you want it to be at. But not if you're just sitting around waiting for it to, to find you. That just doesn't happen. Remind yourself of your channel mission. If you don't have one, create one. What is the reason behind your YouTube channel? If it's to entertain people, why do you want to entertain people? I need a story to what the hell you're doing because if you don't have one, why am I watching you? I want to know like all the ins and outs, like the personal why behind your YouTube channel. What are you trying to do with your YouTube channel? If you don't know that and I don't know that, then I, what is attaching me to continuously watching your content? You know, if there was a YouTube channel that was posting vlogs about being an entrepreneur as a mom, okay, cool, like I'll watch a vlog. But if there was another vlogger vlogging about being an entrepreneur as a mom and she explained that her mission was to teach moms that they can still be entrepreneurs, still make six figures, even though they have kids to raise and they can kick ass in both areas. Now that's a channel that keeps me hooked because I believe in that mission. I stand by that mission. I connect with that mission personally. Like I don't have any kids, but I do have the same belief. And knowing that that is that channel's mission versus someone that's just vlogging to vlog, I'm gonna feel way more connected to the channel that has a clear mission. So ask yourself, what's your mission? What are you trying to do? For me and for you guys, if you haven't yet, I have the first identify what my niche was, who my target audience was, and what problem I was gonna solve with my channel. In the beginning, it was I wanted to be entertaining, I wanted to make people's days, but that's not specific enough. Like, YouTube is a business. If you wanna thrive on it, you gotta get more specific. You can't just start a business and sell products to people that need products. You need to be specific about what product you're selling and who are you selling it to, so your marketing is better. So really hone in and ask yourself, what, what are we doing here? What is the mission here with your channel? And if you need help with that, I actually have a YouTube video right here covering how to find, how to create the perfect niche. You're welcome.
Once you do create that mission, remind yourself of that mission because reminding yourself of that mission makes you realize that your subscriber count really doesn't play a factor in accomplishing that mission. As long as you can impact one life, you're accomplishing that mission. My mission is to teach people how to believe, build and achieve the life that they want and how to thrive on YouTube the mindset it takes to do so. And even though I'm not some big YouTuber that has like 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, 10 million subscribers, I know that those who are subscribed to me right now, you guys, are getting exactly that. You're learning how to believe, build, and achieve the life that you want. And that's all that I need. You know, so when I'm feeling like, oh, I just want to be a big YouTuber already, you know, in the moments where I feel like, oh, I just want to get to that destination already, by reminding myself that I actually am technically already at that destination because I am accomplishing my mission of my YouTube channel, and it's really easy to not care about the numbers and the destination when you remind yourself of that. You know, impacting people's lives and accomplishing your actual mission, it's something that no amount of subscribers could fulfill. There are so many YouTubers out there posting videos just for the sake of profiting, pretending like they're interested in a subject, really just trying to coin, and they're miserable. They're, they feel trapped because they're not actually doing something that fulfills them. We are. And if you're not, you can. Should I finish this for the last one? For the last tip? Oh god. Okay. Look how far you've come. If you think that, oh yeah, I haven't been that far. Like, I don't have this many subscribers. Like, not many people are watching me. I'm only, I'm only getting this much engagement. Like, ugh. You freaking started. You started your YouTube channel. So many people are babbling their mouths away about how they want to start a YouTube channel and they don't even have a date on it and you actually did the damn thing. Hello? Pause and look back at it. You know, like the song, look back at it. She ain't never been into the music, good at it. Mm, I'm about to listen to that song as soon as I get off this video. Ba -da -da, da -da -da -da. Look back at where you were and acknowledge how far you've come. You started the YouTube channel. You started filming. You got in front of the camera. You had the balls to post yourself on camera. You put your life out there. You put yourself out there in front of the whole world. In front of a judgmental world. A ignorant judgmental world. And you didn't give any fucks. Despite that, you did it anyway. And that, oh my gosh. Wow. You didn't acknowledge it? Congrats. Like, really, acknowledge that. Give gratitude for where you are right now. Calm down about the destination. You're gonna get to where you wanna go. If you keep that promise to yourself to not give up on a pursuit and to consistently look at where, what areas need to be improved. And if you can't see those areas, if you hate editing, if you hate filming, if you hate uploading all the way through, that is a problem. You probably need to re-strategize, pivot, and change your niche. You need to change your mission or create a mission because most times for people that don't enjoy uploading, the process of uploading, up, like editing, filming, is because they're doing something that they feel tied to. They're doing something that they no longer feel aligned with. And I just want to say, I just want to remind you that it's okay to change. It's okay. No one's going to kill you. Actually, I, I recommend that you change. If you don't feel enthusiastic about your, your videos, I encourage you to change because change may be just what you need for your channel to fully thrive the way that you want it to. Okay, so I got this crown just for branding because I am the YouTube princess. Um, this is not because it's my birthday, I just wanted to make that clear. I shall be wearing this crown from here on out, but I have to figure out how to make it actually. <laughs> 